to Retro Rivals. I'm really excited to share with you guys the costume reveal. Um, I had put it out there probably about a month and a half ago or so, maybe even longer. I needed you guys to help me decide on a costume to make for Halloween. I always like to make a cool costume. Over the years, we've had a lot of fun with this. Uh, my husband's built some pretty cool costumes and we always do a bit of a photo shoot and make fun time of it. But uh, this year I wanted to do something video game related and you guys did vote, which I really appreciate. And the vote was pretty overwhelmingly swayed in one direction. You, you guys really helped me make an easy decision even easier. It was the costume I was kind of leaning towards anyway. But the choices were Harley Quinn, uh, Princess Peach, uh, we also had Aya Bria from Parasite Eve, and we also had Cami White from Street Fighter. Um, and overwhelmingly everybody voted to Peach, which I was excited to make. Uh, it's a very girly costume. I didn't have to wear a wig, which was fantastic. So I want to show you guys how I got from buying fabric and accessories to the finished product. So we're going to go through a quick tutorial. Um, not that making the costume was quick, but we're going to go through a quick tutorial and show you guys the start to finish product. Let's take a look. To begin your peach costume, find your perfect fabric and any additional supplies and materials you might need. You'll also need accessories to complete the look. I purchased this kit on Amazon. It says it's child size, but it's closer to small adult size, as per review suggestions. I also found these soft, high quality tights on Amazon. I like them because they're a bit thicker and therefore more durable. To sketch your pattern, you'll need pattern paper. You can buy specialty paper for patterning, but often I just use newspaper, or in this case, Amazon packing paper. Fancy tools aren't necessary, but this kit was $40 at Michael's. It's a big time saver and makes the job a lot easier. As you'll see, I plotted out my measurements. The pattern is half. You'll need two of these, one front and one back. The difference will be the front and back collar. I decided to do a regular standard depth collar. This can be adjusted to your personal preference. The line from armpit to waist should taper inward slightly. This will help to create an hourglass form. Our pattern is complete except for the skirt, which we will discuss next. The dress bottom is kept simple by creating an easy circle skirt. You will fold the fabric over twice and create an arch. A marker on a string will act as a protractor and will keep your hemline even. The waist measurement will be the total circumference of your waist divided by four. I'm now laying out and cutting the bodice of my dress. Your material will be folded and should be ironed and free of creases so that it can be properly pinned down. You need to leave a bit of salvage around your pattern to join the pieces together. About a half inch should do. Remember, you'll need two of these, one front and one back. The collar will be the difference. You're now ready to pin the two pieces together. Pin them inside out as your stitching will need to be concealed and inside your garment. As you can see, we are only pinning the sides and the shoulders. The neck hole and arm holes will be addressed later. Time to sew these pieces together.
We now have a rough shell of what our garment will look like. It still needs a lot of work and finesse at this point. And since our skirt is already cut, we will go ahead and pin and attach it to our bodice. The following pieces will serve as the sash of our dress. I made it long enough to create a bow in the back and still have extra fabric to hang. Sew all these pieces together before sewing them inside out. It will create a long tube that you will need to invert before sewing on your bodice slash skirt to cover the middle seam. The sash does the job of covering the seam nicely while also adding emphasis to your waistline. I cut extras of these strips to make the bottom trim as well. You will need many since the purpose of a circle skirt is to create a lot of volume and therefore makes the circumference of your skirt much bigger. Hemming and sewing the trim took forever. In hindsight, I wish I would have doubled the pieces and just folded in half to create an edge that didn't need hemming. If you have enough fabric, that is a change I would definitely make. Pinning the sleeves will be on the fold as well. You will need two of these. They will be pinned to your garment with the peak of the bell fold meeting the center seam of your shoulder. Time to attach the sleeve. While we're at it, we will also fix the sash to the dress by pinning and stitching it to either side of the waist seam. This step isn't necessary, but I would rather that than having it constantly shifting. The dress is almost complete. I've also hemmed the neck and added my zipper. Just one last thing left to complete. My local fabric store didn't have much to choose from in pink zippers, so I chose one that was close to the length I would need. To remedy the gap, I just added a snap closure, but you could also use an eye hook, Velcro, or even a button. And there you have it, your dress is complete. Our accessory kit and styling help to complete the look. Add your favorite shoes and you are ready and dressed to impress. So there you have it. Um, I'm really, I really liked how it turned out. In hindsight, I would have chose some different fabric. That fabric was a bit hard to work with. Um, I forgot to get dark pink thread, which I had to make a quick run to Walmart for, but I'm there like a thousand times a week anyway, so it really didn't matter. But yeah, it really turned out good. Um, I run a daycare as my as my full-time job, and my daycare kids were quite excited to see that I had chosen to make peach as well. It's something I can wear on Halloween with them. It's, you know, child-friendly, which is always nice. So ultimately, that was it was a good decision. I really applaud you guys for choosing that and helping me make a good choice. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you like seeing stuff like that, I enjoy being creative. I enjoy that process. So please leave comments. Let me know what you guys would like to see. I love to paint. I love to sew. Anything, anything where I can get my hands dirty and be creative. I love to build. So yeah, if there's something you guys want to see, let us know. And we love to hear suggestions, but please tune in for our very last Halloween special. It's our big Halloween spectacular, or spectacular, uh, where we discuss all our favorite Halloween themed games or more scary video games, stuff we just had fun with over the course of the month leading up to Halloween. 
So yeah, uh, tune in for that. It'll be on Tuesday. And as always, please like, subscribe, comment, ring that notification bell. That's how we can get our videos to you. You know they're out there. But we put out videos every Tuesday and Friday at 1 p.m. Atlantic time. So please tune in. We really appreciate it. Until next time, game on.